Hi there, Greg. Hey, Sanjan Nanda. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, my internet's a little weird, so if I sort of break up, um, that's why. I'm ca I'm calling with a question about my friend, who I actually have talked to about her a little. The one that she has mites, and her whole family um, has been infected with these mites, and. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I keep talking, I thought I'd come back up. Um, so basically, I'm just reading stuff to you because this was email, uh, texted to me. Um, it's the cat, the dog, and especially my friend. And they've used essential oils. They've used clinical treatments. They've fogged the house with this um, mixture to get rid of the mites bathing themselves and the animals with oil treatments, but the mites abate and then return. And so she asks, could you look at, especially my friend in particular, and see if there's a solution or if there's something else happening besides the mites, because they're now affecting or continue to affect her breathing and her skin. So I think what's happening to the skin? Like, let's first start with the skin. Like, okay. what's happening? With I didn't that? get that. All I got is that there's happening, something happening with the skin. And, you know, the mites are sort of eating, eating her away is what I understand. Like, what I heard was like, they gotten into the pores of her hair, her hair follicles, and just sort of eating her. I know it sounds awful, eating her. So, so like rashes and things like that? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And maybe it's itching um, as well. I mean, it's to it sounds like it's systemic at this point. And yeah, I, I, I would do like, you, you know, for example, like uh, several years ago, there was that bed bug issue that broke out on the East Coast. Um, yeah. I don't know if you remember that. And, you know, as much as we try to treat the bed bugs and everything, Sometimes what you have to start doing, you know, as you're trying to get rid of the bed bugs is um, treat the reaction in the body to minimize, you know, because like sometimes th those bed bugs are, are here, the mites are biting one person and there's no reaction. And then the next person's having a horrible reaction, right? Right. And so uh, sometimes what's happening is that the, the bites or the exposure is causing a really bad allergic reaction. Oh, and it's, yeah. not, it's not that they're allergic to the mites, but the bites are just like messing with the immune system. And so I would probably have her do like three capsules of quercetin like every three or four hours. I mean, I would just have her like around the clock Mm -hmm. do it like take it as soon as she goes to bed as soon as she wakes up she pops three in and like you know so she might take like 15 capsules in a single day for a little bit mm -hmm. and then as everything calms down taper down like if she just stopped nothing bad would happen but i would continue to taper down from that uh -huh. after the symptoms reduce just to keep maintaining good healthy immune response but it, it sounds like she's like having an allergic crisis. Yeah, I I don't know. I the, the sense is that um, there's something else maybe besides the mites, and maybe it is just an allergic reaction. I, 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 it sounds like if if she's like they've done all that and they're still uh, still having some of those symptoms, it could be that the the body is like having the allergic reaction and the mites could be gone or mostly gone, but the, uh, the, you know, I always refer to this as like they trashed the hotel room and then they left the hotel room and the hotel room still trashed. Like mm -hmm. somebody has to go through and like clean up the hotel room. And, you know, here it's the body. Like you have to really unwind some of those allergic responses sometimes. And okay. so, you know, I, I know one time I, I had a really bad allergic response to, um, uh, I, I got exposed to the roots of like poison oak. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> everything that I like touched, vitamins, medications, anything that I took, I had an allergic reaction to. And I went through and I treated it for a couple of months. 
tried all those same things again, no response. Like I, I had such a bad allergic reaction to the medication that the doctor gave me that I actually had a seizure. And they were like, you you should never take this medication again. You know, I'm a, I'm a goofy boy. So I treated the, the allergic reaction. And I was like, yeah, let's just see. Dumb. I don't suggest that. You know, I was in my 20s. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I took the same medication again. No allergic response. Like not even a little bit. And so like sometimes it's like when you have like some weird exposure like that, it's really about just calming down that allergic response. Uh -huh. you, you can use oils like Melissa or Greenland moss or something like that. But the quick and the fast thing to do is just get her to start just pounding the course of it. Okay. okay. Yeah. I think, I mean, I think the concern is this is just keeps going on. They keep not going away. They have to keep repeating it. It's been over a month already. Yeah. Uh, like these major treatments and um, but they they can't they can't see them they're just big uh, gauging this on their body responses or yeah yeah at this point yeah. I mean, I, it might it might be an allergic reaction that they're managing now she's very um, sensitive and she can feel them in her body though that's what she says is you know she can feel them she was doing lemon what was it lemon one of the lemons and lemon balm lemon grass lemon mm -hmm. something. Um, for, you know, that was really helping her, but she said the minute she stopped doing that, she could just feel them coming back. And, um, you know, and they're also treating their house with the cedar, um, oil that they got, um, more chemical stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I, they can keep doing all that stuff, but like treat the allergic response. Okay. So the quercetin is quercetin, like every like three or four hours. Like okay. if she can handle it, I'd do every three hours. Okay. I mean, there, there, there's times where I've had people that had such bad asthma that I got a, like a, a liquid quercetin and I had them do it like every 30 minutes until the asthma calmed down. And then after that, I mean, we were doing it like every two hours and then every three hours and then every six hours and like, like that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's usually well tolerated, you know, because it's it's crude vitamin C. So right. you can put a, a kind of a bunch in. And the worst case scenario is if you take too much of vitamin C, it just makes you have a loose bowel movement. Mm -hmm. And so I've, I've never really had that happen with quercetin. But if if she ended up taking too much quercetin, she would just, you know, have a loose bowel movement and then it would pass. So. Okay. So it's, it's it's not going to be anything that's going to really upset her stomach. She's mm -hmm. very very sensitive, as I yeah. said. I mean, she could do it with food, but it, it rarely. I, I can't think of a time where somebody's had an issue with it. Okay, that's yeah. great. Yeah, keep, keep me posted though. I will. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're so welcome. Okay.